who is going to build the first electric car with more than 1,000 kilometers of range. That's 620 miles for all you Brits and Americans out there. Well, you might think that'd be Tesla. After all, it claims the new Roadster will max out at 620 miles, but it'd be a long time before that car actually shows up on the road. This means there's another company out there that could steal Tesla's thunder and deliver a car with 1,000 kilometers of range. Bust. It's called Williams Advanced Engineering, and I'm going to tell you all about how it's going to build the next generation of EVs. Anyway, I'm Matt Watson, and you're watching CarWow. Buying a new car? Then head to CarWow, and my team will help you find your next car at a fair price. CarWow, your one-stop car buying comparison site. First of all, what is Williams Advanced Engineering? Well, it's a division of the same company that runs the Williams Formula One team. But it doesn't just make racing cars, it also does loads of high-tech engineering for a bunch of different companies. Basically, if you're building a new car and there's something you can't quite figure out, you can take it to Williams and they'll give you a hand, for lots of cash, obviously. And over the years, they've worked with some big names like Jaguar. Remember the gorgeous CX-75 concept car from a few years ago? Well, Jaguar was originally going to sell 250 of these cars and it was going to get Williams to help it build them. But at the last minute, Jaguar decided to cancel the project and spend the cash instead on making SUVs like the F-Pace and developing electric cars like the I-Pace which actually was probably a smart business move. Despite that though, Williams did actually build seven CX-75s. And they weren't road cars, they were stunt cars made for the James Bond Spectre movie. But What's that got to do with electric cars? Well, Williams hasn't just helped Jaguar get on the big screen. It also helped Jag build its first Formula E racing car back in 2016. And now Williams will supply every battery for the whole Formula E grid from 2022. But that's not all. It also makes batteries for the Extreme E Electric Off-Road Championship, and it will supply batteries for the ETCR Electric Touring Car Series. So it knows a fair bit about building fast electric cars. And now it's going to put all this know-how into a brand new road car. Well, I say one electric car. It's actually going to build a load of components that Williams calls the EVX platform. And this can be used to make anything from a crossover to convertible, a bit like a massive Lego set. But before we talk about what these cars will look like, I want to tell you about their range. That's the most important thing with electric cars, or is it acceleration? It's accelerational range. Anyhow, the range depends on lots of factors, including battery size and weight. EVs are normally really, really heavy, especially ones with big batteries. But Williams has come up with a few tricks to make the EVX as light as possible. For starters, it's gonna use a carbon fiber chassis, which is very strong, and very light. And it's actually gonna use the battery themselves as a stress member to give the chassis some extra strength and rigidity. That's just like what Tesla is planning to do with its upcoming cars, including the all new hatchback. I've actually made a whole video about Tesla's new little golf rival and all the specs and features you need to know about it and what I think it's gonna look like. If you wanna see that video, put a link just there, pop it out, top right hand corner of the screen, click on that, you can watch it. Alternatively, there's the link in the description below if you wanna check that out after this video. Anyway, let's move on. So back to Williams. This structural battery tech is really, really clever because if you use the batteries as an integral part of the car's chassis, it means they take up less space and need fewer parts. And this makes the whole car lighter and cheaper to build. So it's, it's a win-win. Williams says that EVX is big enough to carry a 120 kilowatt hour battery, which is even larger than the 108 kilowatt hour battery you get in the new Mercedes EQS. But Williams isn't going to stop there because it's going to fit some cars with electric motors inside the wheels rather than in the chassis to free up space for even more battery cells. These versions could end up having 160 kilowatt hours worth of batteries, which would be an incredible feat and mean those cars have a range of 620 miles or 1,000 kilometers. Now, that's all and good, but what? about the performance? Well, the new EVX electric cars will come with up to 1,360 horsepower. That's 340 horsepower more than you get in a Tesla Model S Plaid. And because Williams' new cars will have a lightweight chassis made mostly of carbon fiber, they'll be much lighter than the Tesla Model S, which is mostly made of steel and aluminum. So this new Williams could be about to beat the Tesla Model S's range and its 0 to 60 claim time of 1.99 seconds. So. That's range and performance ticked off the list. But what are these cars actually gonna look like? Well, Williams has configured the EVX platform so other manufacturers can design their own body shells to go on top of it. 
But if you don't want to design the car yourself, Williams has partnered with another firm called Ital Design, which can style the car for you. Now you might have heard of Ital Design. It was started by the same guy who designed the Lancia Delta and the Lotus Esprit and the BMW M1. Recently, Ital Design launched its own car called the Zeruno, which is Italian for zero one, which sort of makes sense. It started off as an Audi R8, but Ital Design added its completely bespoke body. After this, Ital Design built a special version of the Nissan GTR called the GTR 50 to celebrate that car's 50th anniversary. It was based on the 600 horsepower Nismo model, but Ital Design's version had an insane 720 horsepower. Now I've driven a GTR Nismo and I couldn't believe how fast that car was. So I can't imagine what an extra 120 horsepower would do to that car. In fact, if you want to see my in-depth review of the GTR Nismo, I'll put a link, it should be popping out in the top right hand corner of the screen. Click on that, you can watch the video. Alternatively, the link is in the description below. Now, Ital Design can use the factory where it makes the Zeruno and the GTR 500 to build some of these new electric cars. And it has the capacity to make up to 500 of these new EVs for Williams every year. Okay, so that production output isn't really gonna worry Elon Musk, is it? After all, Tesla built around half a million Model S, 3X and Y cars in 2020 alone. But the way Williams has designed the EVX platform means that bigger manufacturers with larger factories could scale up production to make 10,000 of these cars every year. And I reckon the perfect candidate could be Jaguar. Now here's why. Remember the CX-75 supercar from earlier? Well, rather than spending its own cash to develop a replacement for that car, Jaguar could use Williams' new platform to build a new high-performance EV for a lot less money. Although it probably won't go building an electric supercar like the CX-75 because Williams didn't design the EVX platform to make supercars. Instead, the EVX can be used for sports cars, GT cars, and convertibles. So cars just like the F-Type then. Can you see where I'm going with this? Well, the F-Type has been around for eight years, but Jaguar won't be able to keep making it forever, especially not the version with the supercharged five litre V8. You know what it could do? Yeah, it could build a replacement using Williams's new EVX platform. And here's an exclusive car wire render of what that car could look like. Just imagine a 1,360 horsepower Jaguar F-Type replacement with dual motors and a 120 kilowatt hour battery. That'd give Tesla something to think about. But what do you think? Would you like this EV? Or would you rather have the Tesla Roadster if it ever arrives? Let me know in the comments below. And if you're looking to buy a new electric car, I've actually found a great deal on my favorite EV, which is on sale now. I'm going to not tell you what it is. <laughs> if you want to find out and what the deal is, you're going to have to click the link up there to get a car and check it out. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like. Click on those windows there, you can watch some more videos. And if you click on that box there, you can go to the CarWow EV Hub page where you can browse all our reviews, videos, and information on electric cars. You can also check out the latest deals on the best electric cars. And if you buy an electric car through CarWow, we'll give you five months of free subscription to BP Pulse and 500 miles of free charge.